Hey guys, I'm Mike Cabagon. I'm Sega VOT1. And welcome back to some more Let's Nope, Damn It, Crap. Let's compete! Now let's compete Pokemon Red versus Blue Randomized. That just doesn't have the same ring as versus. It does not. Oh well. Anyways, so, uh, I deposited my items off screen, and now I'm getting ready to head back into the Rocket Game Corner. Sikabi has to fight Erica. He has. Well, I, I could go to the Rocket Hideout, but I choose to do this first. Yeah, he has closed the gap pretty well. Yeah, once I figure out how to get out of that godforsaken rock tunnel. I think this is gonna be the. Oh crap. This is gonna be an interesting part of the verses because the middle of Kanto is so. like. Open ended. Yeah, you can do whatever you want, pretty much. With like, well, within reason. You can you can get to Blaine's gym before you even finish the Team Rocket side quest. Can you actually? Oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, <sighs> Zapdos. Oh, cool. You're supposed to be cool with me. I'm gonna throw this rare candy. Who's supposed to evolve? I'm gonna get oh, it to Oh, come on! How did you know I was gonna switch to, uh, to Janice? Oh, no. I'm gonna give this to Malphite. At least this isn't a Nuzlocke. I was seriously considering, like, doing a Silver or Sapphire Nuzlocke. Oh, God, I would never... I don't like Nuzlocke very much. I, I just... I like watching them. I don't mind watching them, but... It's, I, I don't trust myself to do it and do it fairly. I just... It just wouldn't be fun for me. Yeah. Which is the I, whole point of the, the concept for it to be fun. It's like you're going, crap, 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 don't faint, don't faint, don't faint, crap, you fainted, you, I needed you! Exactly. <laughs> am, yeah. am I dumb? What, what am I doing here? Are you trying to get through the, the uh, thing? Oh, crap. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm, I'm just not understanding what I did wrong. Yeah, walked into the wrong place. Also, should be noted, I can't, oh, there, that's what I did wrong. I can't actually hear my game audio right now because of the way this is recording. The Skype, the computer that I'm using to be to, to talk to Sikabi is actually a different and different computer than the one I'm playing on. So I can't actually hear game audio. And I've never gotcha. played Pokemon for this long without being able to hear game audio. It just weird. Bu it bugs me so much. But the way the reason I did it like that was because if we Skyped on um, on my laptop, um, it would. A, my laptop would be, we'd have a lot more power, or we'd be using a lot more of its uh, memory, and B, uh, your voice would get recorded. So this way, it keeps the commentary separate from the, vi the game audio. Yep. Which now I have no choice, because I only have one computer that I can work with. <laughs> yeah. So the, the reason that Brian's game audio is being used is so... Is because it is can, just game audio. Because it is just game audio. Whereas my audio is both my game audio and his yeah. voice. We just haven't figured a way around that. Yeah. I mean, if I start doing console versus, that shouldn't be a problem because when I do it like that, it's the recording's just going to pick up. Oh, speaking of that, um, I imagine by the time this goes up, well, episode five going up. Yeah, we got time. Um, by but I still won't mention it, just in case. Do you remember that thing you asked me to make graphic for? Uh, yeah, I do, for Punch-Out. Yeah, uh, how, how is that being recorded? Uh, it's actually being recorded by Capture Card. Yes! Sick of B got a Capture Card! Yep, I did. A diamond? Because I, I would never emulate anything past the Super Nintendo, really. Okay. Because I would, I'd just be bad times. 3D games and a keyboard, no. Yeah. So, that's exciting. I, I realized that as soon as you said it was a Wii game, I was like... So you got your capture card. I did. That's awesome. Yeah. I actually used it to record one of the random game days for Elf Years Unknown. It was for Metroid Prime. Okay. Oh, that was yours? How do you... Yeah, how, how do you, how do, you, do you just love it? Do you love it? Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. Also, this... The guy that drops the lift key has a Dragonite as well. What the hell is with these rocket guys getting random Dragonites? I don't know. They just they just like it. Also, one of the biggest complaints I found among people who played these games is that Dragonite is too adorable. Look at its sprite! It's so Durr. angry! It doesn't look adorable at all! Well, it looks angry in this game. Yeah. It's like if you look at the I think it's the silver sprite or maybe the crystal sprites. It's like, ah, I'm cute. Oh yeah. Well it's a I don't care. I love Dragonite. I love Dragonite. Yeah, there's have you seen the uh this one video that's yeah. basically a commercial for Dragonite. 
That isn't the most hilarious thing. Uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. We have uh, seen uh, bandages! <laughs> Please don't make me imagine that. Oh no, I dropped the lift key. Pick it up! I did it! Good. Alright, off to fight Giov... Giovanni. Giovanni. That's like one of the most stereotypical Italian names you could think of. It is. Do you imagine Mario was Giovanni? Giovanni. Then the world would be a very different place. And I'm not even kidding about that. That's yeah, true. All right, like, come on, Mar come on. Because in some time, in some cases, Mario is more iconic than Mickey Mouse. I believe it. Or people are expecting that at some point Mario's gonna be more iconic than Mickey Mouse. Is like I feel like Mickey Mouse is not even that iconic anymore. Just because, like, when was the last time Disney came out with a Mickey Mouse movie? I don't know, probably something that went directly to video. It's been a long time. I don't yeah. remember ever actually... Oh, I don't think I've ever watched or owned a Mickey Mouse movie. Is know who he is. Yeah, he's... In cartoons, though. He was in some cartoons. Yeah. He, was in, he was in one that showed before Frozen, and I actually think I enjoyed that more than I enjoyed Frozen. Oh, yeah, because you, like, hated Frozen. I, I liked Frozen. Oh, okay. I, I didn't like it as much as everybody else does, and I'm sick of seeing all the pictures of Elsa and Anna. I mean, come on. I was at work the other day, and I shit you not, uh, I saw people dressed up as, um, which, which one's the blonde one? The blonde one? I think that's Elsa. Okay, so she's like the one in the blue dress? Yeah, that's Elsa. Okay, yeah, people were dressing up like her walking about the mall. I was like, what the hell? Is it, was it in October? It was, uh, towards the end of September. I think it was promoing, like, for, I think it was promoting a, a, uh, concert or something. Like a Disney thing. Concert? Like okay. a Disney Probably. on Ice thing. I don't know what it was. It was, de it was definitely strange to see. Oh, I am facing Erica, by the way. She's leaning out with Pidgeot. Woo, Pidgeot! Yes, Pidgeot. I shall bring you to your knees! Do birds have knees? This one does. Don't question it. Also, I've gotten to the point where pretty much what I'm doing with my team is whenever a Pokemon is sent out, I just pick a Pokemon to send out and just let it battle. Is all my Frozen, po you are screwed. I'm watching a plane fly. You're watching a plane fly? Okay, you can go back to what you're talking about. Sorry um, for interrupting. No, I, uh, pretty much what I do is I just send out a random Pokemon. I don't really choose, like sometimes I choose, but like all my Pokemon are equally badass pretty much. So I'm just like, yeah, just go fight. Yeah, just do the thing. Yeah, except Tony's really screwing the pooch right now. He fell asleep. Also, Cedra. 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 Ah, the Cedra. Home of the dragon. Jolteon. Jeff whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, my stupid controller kept my controller disconnected for a second there, so I was like, oh god, am I, is my is my game dying? Am I dying? Is that what's happening? But it wasn't. You're not dying! Right. Jolteon! Jolteon! I mean Venusaur. I mean no, no, jo no, I mean Jolteon. I don't mean Venusaur, I mean Jolteon. <laughs> and it has Mega Drain! My emulator ha! is ha! It, mine is conscious too! I didn't even think it was. Ha! You know what, let's switch to Wilbur, this is taking too long. DIG! It's been a while since we heard from Wilbur, actually. Alright, time been... to go to level 30. Wilbur's been doing alright. Wilbur. Go to him. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum? Jeff Goldblum! Don't question it, I don't even know why I brought it up. It's just a random quote from a Jontron <laughs> video, that's why I brought it up. Oh, yeah. We're Bubsy. Oh, yeah. Man, such a weird game. That was the first review I saw from him, and it's by far my favorite. It's a, it's one of his best, I think. Yeah. Oh, I'm not looking forward to when I have to level up um, Malfoy. Well, no, because it's gonna be hard. Because now, because he grew, he gained levels pretty quick uh, at the start, but now that time is over. Dang. Anyway, I'm teaching Jeff Mega Drain. I would have. Uh, I don't have really much use for Mega Drain. I don't really have a sixth team member. I might just go with five. Because, I'm... like, I don't know. Because, like, my like, by the end, I'll have Blastoise, Dragonite, Magmar, um, Snorlax, and uh, Pidgeot. That's not a bad team. No, it's not. 
And like, I'll need a flying type at some point. Or maybe I don't, but who cares? You probably will. Yeah. But I, I can't think of anything else I would like to use. Because like everything no. is pretty much covered. I might go get Hitmonchan or something. Alright, you do that. Well, are, are Fire, Ice, and Thunder Punch in this game? No, they're not. They, oh, well, they were that. introduced in Gen 2. Oh, screw that then. Yeah. I never really got why people were clamoring for the Elemental Punches, because their special counterparts are a lot more useful. The Fangs? No. Oh, wait, no. Uh, no. The punches. Uh, like Thunderbolt, Fire Blast, and... Or, or Flamethrower, I guess. And Ice oh, okay. Beam. Oh. That's true. I guess that they're... I guess it's just something about them. When you attach fire, thunder, or elect, or fire, thunder, or ice onto uh, something, it makes it automatically more badass. All I right. guess. Who am I gonna lead with against Giovanni? Because I need to be prepared. Probably be prepared. Good, probably a good idea to lead with Malfoy because he's my best Pokemon. So I must say, yeah. first you got here. Wow, that's all he says. That's yeah, literally all he says. Like, it is, because it's the first game and they weren't really concerned about dialogue. Wow, he has his Persian. It's like, the guys, the executives in Gen 2 had more to say and they didn't even have names at the time. Yeah, they did not. And their battle themes were completely wrong. Yeah, they're, That, they're that like... upset me. And when you yeah. fight the Rocket Executive, the Team Rocket theme did not play. Uh -huh. That upset me quite a bit. We have Gen one and about Gen 18. one and two were just weird. Yeah, they were, but in a good way. More Gen one than Gen two. Uh, yeah, more Tentacruel. Gen two still didn't have that sort of weirdness though. Yeah, Tentacruel. A Gen one had Tentacruel. Yes. So that's a plus. Uh, well, Gen one's about to have a dead Tentacruel. <laughs> dead Tentacruel. Don't start any creepy pasta fan fictions there. There's some really good creepy pastas come out of this game. Have you read the one about the dude, the uh, Vermilion City guy? No, I haven't actually. It's really good. It basically says that he were I, I don't remember how it goes, but it says like that guy who's like owns the property in Vermilion City own he's like it's it's a real I don't remember how it goes. You'll have to give it a read. It's really good and it's really well written. All That's right. my favorite thing about creepy pastas. Not that much, like, I don't like reading scary ones, but I like the ones that are about games that I like that are re legitimately well written and well thought out. Not ones that are just like, does blood and. blood. <laughs> the blood, the Did blood. I blood. The blood. I mean, Venusaur. I mean, Venusaur. Venusaur blood. <laughs> Alright, I beat Giovanni. Awesome. Alright, let's. Get... Thunderbolt this executor. No! Well, Yes! Alright, let's get out of here. Boop, if Executor is no, then what's yes? Um, aw, oh, crap. Uh, I just ran into a random trainer. Wow, this is- remember that guy who's like, uh, are you lost, little mouse, in fire red leaf green? He calls you a rat in this game. <laughs> He's like, where are you, rat? I'm like, oh god. You're a they called you a mouse in fire and leaf green? That's kind of weird. Yeah, he was like, where are you, little mouse? I guess it's- it's like almost a little more intimidating. Rat? I'd say rat's more Well, rat seems more aggressive. Yeah. It's like, you rat. Ex An executor has, like, the worst exclusive move ever, aside from Kinesis. Barrage. Bar barrage. Egg bomb's not Ooh. bad. What? What's not bad? Egg bomb. Egg bomb? Why is Hannah trying to learn growl? Uh, egg bomb is good. I mean, it's okay. Dude, you're wrong. barrage is- Don't do it. You can't win without your chancy knowing growl. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Don't need that weak attack reduction for my foes. Malfoy grew level 32. Malfoy's actually getting levels pretty quickly. This guy's got two electrodes. Alec, it's not gonna happen, bro. Just kidding. Stop Alec, trying dude. to make balls happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Alec, I don't need your balls up in my day. I've never even seen that movie, and I think... Somebody came up with the theory on Twitter that... The reason Mean Girls is quoted so much is because girls have such a dearth of quotable movies. I didn't know that was a Mean Girls quote. I saw I saw Mean Girls once, and I admit it was pretty good. I mean, I saw it once, like, years ago. And, like, some of the scenes- the only scenes I really know is, like, the don't have sex scene that everybody quotes. I know on uh, Wednesdays we wear pink. 
And there's the one where the girl gets hit by the bus at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. When, when John brought that up, I, I was thinking Final Destination. <laughs> oh, those are terrifying. Those are terrifying. Have you, I, they, I don't the, really think they're that scary. They're just... The one thing that I saw about Final Destination that made me never want to watch it is when it was in a commercial and the dudes like was in a pool and his swimming trunks <laughs> get sucked oh, yeah. from the bottom of the pool and he was just drowning trying to get that his is... stupid trunks out. Like, that's something that can legitimately happen and that's scary. Uh, yeah, I, I can, but what you didn't see is the death blow. The death blow is actually very hilariously awful. Oh god, what He's happened? Like, his guts get... Uh, his guts get sucked up from the drain and... Oh, that's awful. It's aw- it, it, it is awful. It's like... I, like, I'd prefer watching... Like, Shark. Like, I don't know. I don't like movies with a lot of death. That, of, of things that can happen in everyday life. Yeah. Like, of things that can just happen. Like, I don't like watching explosions. Well, like... Even explosions, like when stuff just randomly explodes, I don't, I don't mind that because the odds of it actually happening are so slim, it's barely even a concern. But at the same time, it easily can happen. I, I don't know. Right. I just prefer to not watch scary movies and put myself yeah, in that atmosphere. Like, like I hate scrolling through Netflix when I see the one movie I have a huge vendetta against is um, Human Centipede. Uh, it's, that looks awful. Everybody makes fun of that movie. It looks so bad, and people watch I it. Know. I'm, it I know! People watch it, and I'm like, why would you watch it? It's so awful. The fact that anyone would be okay with making this scares the crap out of me. Yeah, and like and three of them, for that matter. Yeah, like, it, the, it, those are the people that I want like to be walked up, like, for good. Like, that's a whole nother discussion, but people that think that stuff like that is entertaining, or like, that can have the thought process of making that is really weird. I saw something yeah. from the Huffington Post the other day. This is the most f***ed up shit I've ever seen in my life. This kid is like 18 years old. He said he killed his mom and then lost his virginity to her corpse. And he ripped out her brains. Oh my god. And he like he said he complete. he was he said like, no I'm not insane. I knew completely what I did. Oh. Like oh. how f***ed up is that? Oh my god. I know, right? Uh, and you can just see the guy's face like, oh, this guy's. Oh god. Oh jeez, I feel guilty for enjoying Final Destination. Oh, Final Destination's not bad. Not uh, I, I bad. do. Not bad in comparison. I, I guess not. It can get very graphic though. Like The death that I was referring to way back when was the scene when this girl gets hit by a bus. Oh yeah. And, and it's ironic because she's breaking up with her boyfriend right before she dies. And it's like, for starting a fight with one of the other characters, and it's like, if you wanna, if you wanna keep beating up Alex every time you see him, you can just drop effing dead, and then, and then right on cue, a bus hits her. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> That's so f <laughs> I know, I know. This, this episode of Pokemon is taking a strange turn. I I know it it's so weird, but it it works so well if you're not expecting it. Um, at least from what I've heard. Let's switch topics slightly. Um, have yeah. you ever heard of a show called um what's it called? Person of Interest. No, I've heard the uh, Rebecca Black song, the same name. It's a really good show. I watched it when I went back to see my my uh, mom and dad in. Like, I went home last weekend. So, I went to see them, and my dad was watching it. <coughs> Jim Caviezel's in it. And basically what it is, is this, uh, this, <coughs> like, impossibly rich guy makes this machine that monitors people, like, every one of every day. And it sounds creepy, right? Yeah, it sounds like something out of a movie. But anyway, so how it works is the machine spits out random names and numbers and it's a, of someone that they should keep an eye on, that it, it the machine just knows that when someone is about to be involved or when they're in danger or where they're about to commit crimes. And then Jim Caviezel is the guy who's in charge of like making sure that they either don't commit crimes or are protected from crimes that would be committed against them. It's so cool. 
It's basically like they're preventing crimes before they happen. Oh my god, it's the- They're using the power of the Monado! Pretty much. But it's- it's such a good show. I got- I- I really, really like it. And Jim Caviezel's in it is- which is amazing. So literally, Jesus is in it. Jesus! Is Jesus- Christ! Is Jesus- uh, Jim Caviezel was, a uh, Jesus in The Passion of the Christ. Oh, I didn't know that. I think he was. We have just under- over ten minutes left. Speaking of movies that have a lot of blood in them... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm in Pokemon Tower. I am not. I'm still doing that. I just got the lift key. Also, I taught um, John Psychic. I did not realize John could learn Psychic. So that is going to help a lot. Uh, which one is John again? Uh, Magmar. Magmar? I didn't know he could learn Psychic either. Neither? No, uh, I did not. I, I just realized, I was like, huh, that could be a good thing to have. You know what, now I, I just realized I actually have access to the move Psychic now, and Psy can finally get a Psychic move that's better than Psybeam. Psybeam is not a horrible move, by any means. Or I could replace Confusion. I think that'll work. Might, might I, as well. I taught Psy Try Attack, just in case. Okay. Because nobody else could learn it, and I didn't feel like keeping it on my person. I feel it. Alright, hopefully Tony evolves in the next couple episodes, because he's level 32 right now. I could, I really should fight these trainers, but I don't want to. But I, I, I go, I'm not gonna fight the ones that I, that I don't have to because it's the versus. Of course. Keep your levels up by fighting random wild Pokemon. Exactly. Okay, which one do I want? B floor. B four. B four, yeah. In B four. B four. I eight. I'm, I'm referencing a fairly odd parents episode, by the way. Oh yeah. Um, bingo! Timmy, we love you! To be a good boy, will we play bingo? <laughs> yeah. This is a Go legal document. A really nice legal document. And, and now, now it's, it's fish wrap. <laughs> really nice fish wrap. Yeah. <laughs> I loved that show. I loved that show too. And now I watched one of the newer ones. It was about viral videos and it was just... Yeah, no, it, it, it was bad. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take a nap after this video, after we're done recording. I'm just gonna go on a walk, because I need to. I'm exhausted. I've been up for a lot of the day. I've been recording most of the day. John Girl level 30! I found Meowth. Alright, um, let's... Find Meowth? Let's go with Bird Jesus. Let's go with Bird Jesus, Brian. I'm on it. You're on it, like Donkey Kong it. Oh. Comets. Oh, man. What? I don't know. You don't know. So, based on how we are right now, we're eight episodes in. How long do you think this versus is gonna go? Uh, I don't know. Another eight? Probably at least that. Damn it! My stupid controller disconnected again. Sir, how did you get a level twenty-three Venusaur? Answer me. Venusaur. I mean Venusaur. All right, there's an elixir. I'm glad I picked that up. I'm gonna need that. You need that right now? I usually save those for. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need that later. I mean. Oh. And here's another Did thing. I save ethers and elixirs for the Elite Four? Because in this generation, you can't buy them. You can only pick them up. Yeah, you, wait, you can buy ethers? You can't in this generation. No, but in other generations, you can? In other generations, I believe you can, yes. I mean, because ethers, they just replenish PP. I've never... Wow. I don't know if you can, actually. So you I've can. I, really? I know for a fact you can. Just not in this generation. Oh my god, which generations? Two on. Oh my god, I feel really stupid. How come, recover? Well, no, just because I, di I didn't know that, um, you could buy ethers. Well, you can, it's not in this generation. Huh. Well, like, I went through my entire life thinking you couldn't. Well, that's because in Gen 2 1, you can't. Yeah. So I, like every game I've already I've always just gone like picked them up and that that was it and whenever I didn't I use uh, my the berries too the lepa berries. Sure. Wow. What happened if you used an antidote on a poison type Pokemon? You just die. Maybe. <laughs> what if it did just what? die? That would just be terrible. Giovanni has a Hitmonlee. Uh, um, a Hitmonlee. Sweet. Hitmonlee. Razor Leaf. At what level is magical? Jeff at? Uh, thirty. Okay, so he's close to evolving. Did you get the rare candy from it from there? 
Uh, no, I didn't get the rare candy. You could maybe have a Venusaur by the end of this episode. Does it fall up at level 32 or is it level 36? Level 32. It's level 32. Do you know that for a fact? Did you check it recently? I know this for a fact. You just know it for a fact? Okay, yes. well. If I'm lucky, Jeff will evolve in this episode and I'll have a, a Venusaur. I mean, Venusaur. Whoa, Nidoqueen Queen just chilling out in the Pokemon Tower. Nido Queen, Hitmonchan. Okay, this guy has all fighting types. It had Hitmon Lee, it had Primeape, and then now it's Hitmonchan. Wow. That's not bad, actually. Not at all. Of course, you're gonna have a completely different team next time I face you, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Alright, we have uh, just under five minutes left, and I should be able to complete Pokemon Tower in that time. Boop. Alright. Psyche! Psyche! I shall step aside this time, I'll leave me again, and I will because you're the gym leader. SPOILERS! A SPOILER ALERT! Who doesn't know that? Probably people that have never played Pokemon. Yeah. Oh. But, but even then... Bang bang. Yeah, true. I understand. It's like, I've never played Final Fantasy VII, and I know that Aerith yeah. dies. I wish I didn't know that, to be honest, because it would have made it... I could picture myself playing it, and just being like, OH MY GOD! You killed the party member! That's not supposed to happen! Uh, I have not played nearly enough of Final Fantasy VII. And I haven't played any of it. I want to, but... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. It's, it's on well, my The fact that I list. never bring my PS3 to college pretty much says... Uh, not now, no, sorry. I, I, need to buy, that game. I need to buy a new PS3. Because my old one that broke. And I want to play Okami HD so badly. I have Okami on the Wii, and... I might just do that. I I don't. I didn't want to buy it on the Wii for whatever reason, just because I like the PS2 version. All right. I don't know. Well, I, I need a I need new PS3 anyway because I have a lot of PS3 games that I have to play. Like I haven't played Uncharted in so long. I miss that. I miss playing Uncharted very very badly. I heard Uncharted 2 is better than the first and third ones, right? Yeah, you don't like Uncharted 3. Well, I I. Uncharted 3 is okay, but it, the shooter heavy sections just lost me towards the end. What what difficulty did you play it on? I think I played on normal. Okay. I, I like it. It, it was fine. Oh, go ahead. I, I thought it was fine when it was more about the platforming yeah. and the adventure. Like, it, it was definitely intense. I don't, I'll have to get a PS4 to get uh, Uncharted 4 now. Because that game looks that? awesome. Take your word for it. Alright, is the ghost still Marowak? I hope it is. It is. It should be. It's it a is. static Pokemon. Yeah. I was gonna say, I would feel dirty if it wasn't... It would make me... like... It's a Ditto! The ghost is Ditto. Oh, that would suck. That would suck. Alright, Ice Beam. Wow, this is the first Pokemon in a long time that's actually been an actual decent match. How much time do we have? Really? Because it's level 30 and it's a Marowak? Two minutes. Two minutes? Jeff Goldblum. Time? <laughs> Jeff Goldblum again. <laughs> Tony's trying to learn yes. withdraw. Nope. No. No. Jeff grew to level 32. Oh, here we go. Yes! Told you. Thank you for being right. Woo! And Tony's gonna evolve at level 36, is that right? Yes. And Tony's now level I mean Venusaur! Venusaur! Did, did you know that in Je I just realized in Jeff's, or I figured out recently, in Jeff's Let's Play of Pokemon Fire Red, he did not evolve his Bulbasaur. I know that. I didn't either. He, I think I think he did that thing where he's just trying to prove that he could win with his favorite Pokemon. So he did not. I I'm pretty sure that's what he did. I don't think he evolved his Bulbasaur. Neat. How awesome is that? That's pretty awesome. All right, I'm gonna see if I can run through and get uh, and save Mr. Fuji in this episode. If I can, that'd be awesome. I think with the remaining time, I'm gonna go get the Psychic TM. Okay. We have, oh, we have less than a minute. No, there's no way. There's not enough time. Not enough time to save Mr. Fuji? No. I'll, it'll, I'll, be do, I'll have to do it right at the start of the next episode. I think I'll just finish up this battle and then I'll be it. I got rid of my fresh water. You know, the Saffron City you can go through. We'll share this with the other guards. Alright. <laughs> so, you're going to get Psychic, right? Yep, that's the last thing I'm gonna do in this episode. All right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wait here, and then we'll Alrighty. be done. <laughs> oh, I'm very tired. 
Apologies for being a little bit lower energy in this one compared to other episodes. We usually record late at night in, on Friday, so we're usually kind of high energy, but it's a Sunday right now, and Sunday's a low energy day. Yeah, it is. But it's okay. We got two good episodes, I think. We did. I, I'm I'm fappy with how these... I... You just said fappy. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. We're done. Energy level right back up. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Take care. Bye. <laughs> what an ending.